the U.S. has launched a new strike against the Houthis in Yemen. Military officials say they hit a radar site with missiles fired from the USS Kani based in the Red Sea. They've described the fresh strike as a follow-on action to their joint attacks yesterday, which authorities say are designed to degrade the Houthis' ability to attack maritime vessels. Earlier, President Biden had warned the U.S. would respond if the Iran-backed group continued what he called outrageous behavior in attacking shipping in the Red Sea. On Friday, the U.S. and U.K. hit around 30 sites across Yemen, including in the capital city of Sana'a. Houthi leaders said five people were killed and have warned of more retaliation. Our correspondent Graham Satchel has more. Before and after. Satellite images show the impact of the American and British bombing raids. The Americans say airfields and weapon storage depots were destroyed. The RAF didn't take part in the new attack overnight, but both the British and Americans say the raids are vital to keep shipping routes open in the Red Sea. Houthi militia have been targeting container ships off the Yemeni coast for weeks. Sometimes like this, they've boarded vessels. In other attacks, they use drones and missiles. They say they're disrupting this key shipping route to show their support for Palestinians in Gaza. Yemen sits at a key strategic position in the Middle East, especially for global shipping. The normal route from the Far East goes round the coast of Yemen, through the Red Sea and the Suez Canal. It has been significantly disrupted. Most vessels are now taking the longer route round southern Africa. It means delay and extra cost to global commerce. A huge rally in the Yemeni capital, Sana'a. Protesters burn the Israeli and American flags. Millions in Yemen and across the Arab world are appalled by Israel's conduct of the war in Gaza, and they see the current airstrikes by the West as an escalation. A Houthi military spokesman said American and British criminal aggression would not go unanswered or unpunished. The Americans maintain airstrikes are a proportionate response and they're talking down a wider conflict. We absolutely do not want to see a uh, extension of the conflict in Gaza broader uh, into the region and we'll continue to work hard on that. But at the same time, we can't allow uh, the Houthis to continue to conduct these attacks, putting innocent mariners' lives at risk uh, and affecting the global economy. The Houthis are backed but not controlled by Iran. The clear worry now is that what's happening in Gaza and the Red Sea spreads and escalates to the wider region. Graeme Satchel, BBC News. Well, let's get some more background on who the Houthis are. They've been fighting a civil war against the Yemeni government since 2014. When the war in Gaza began last year, they declared their support for Hamas and said they would target any ship travelling to Israel. Our security correspondent, Frank Gardner, looks now at whether this military action will deter them. Proudly independent, wary of outsiders, and also staunchly anti-Western and anti-Israel. The Houthis are a tough mountain tribe who seized power in Yemen 10 years ago. Today, the US-led airstrikes seem only to have emboldened them and their supporters. We condemn the criminal terrorist strikes on the Yemeni people by Israel, America and Britain. We have been at war for eight years. These strikes do not frighten us and do not worry a hair on our head. We will support our brothers in Palestine and Gaza, and we are with them. The Houthis have already endured nearly eight years of airstrikes, as Saudi Arabia, armed with Western weapons, sought to reverse their takeover and restore the legitimate government. It failed. The Houthis are in firm control of most of the populated parts of Yemen. That's the purple bits here, including the capital Sana'a and, crucially, most of the Red Sea coast. And they're backed by Iran, which trains them, arms them and provides them with intelligence, which it denies. This has enabled the Houthis to build up a powerful arsenal of drones and missiles. 
Now, the Houthis have effectively entered the Gaza war on the side of Hamas. They've demanded a ceasefire and they say they're targeting any ship linked to Israel. But they've also attacked plenty of vessels that aren't. The capabilities the Iranians have provided the Houthis have included cruise missiles, uh, ballistic missiles, and also the capability uh, to manufacture homegrown uh, UAVs, drones, which can be used as a cheap way to attack uh, both shipping at sea and targets on the land. Houthi patients may outlast America's and Britain's in this crisis. Their drones cost a fraction of what it costs to shoot them down. They vowed to keep attacking shipping and to exact revenge. Frank Gardner, BBC News.